What's up, beautiful people? We about to jump into this quick 20 minute full body workout that you can do right from the comforts of your home. Listen, this is for people who are on the go or people who just don't have a whole lot of time to get to the gym and you wanna do something at home to build a little muscle, burn some calories, shed off a few pounds. We're gonna jump into the workout. All you need, you got a mat, a bench, and some dumbbells. That's all you need for this workout. Let's go ahead and get started. We always start out the workout with some stretching. Feet shoulder width apart, body arm across your body in five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms in five, four, three, two, and one. Now take your hands, put your palms in the small of your back, like so and stretch back, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna stretch down to our right ankle, on our forehead, as low as you can go. I usually grab my ankle and hold, five, four, three, two, one. Right back up, we're gonna stretch down, grab your left ankle, or go as low as you can go. And hold five, four, three, two, one. Straight back up. Feet shoulder width apart. And fingertips straight down the middle on the floor. Or bend down as low as you can if you can't touch the floor. And stretch. And five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna jump into the workout. Now we're gonna start the workout with some dumbbell curls. So I got my 35s today. Grab these 35s. Grab and you can grab something lighter if you want to. But now, and just remember when you're doing your bicep curls, you wanna squeeze at the top of each repetition, getting blood into the bicep. So let's go, we're gonna do seven curls on each arm. One. Two, three, squeeze at the top. Four, five, six, and last one on each arm. And seven. Now, I'm gonna put the weight down right here, and I'm gonna take a quick seat down. And I'm gonna do the behind the head tricep press. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see the tricep working. Just gonna put this behind your head. And we're gonna go for 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna go right into shoulder presses. So we're working that full body. So I'm gonna sit down on the bench. And my arm's gonna be parallel, almost like making a letter T. And then we're gonna press for the ceiling. Bring the weight up, arms parallel. And we're gonna go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, I'm gonna go straight into bent over rows. So we're gonna turn sideways so y'all can see the exercise. Feet a little bit outside of shoulder width apart. Flat back, lean forward, and you're gonna bring the dumbbells up to the belly button. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. And last but not least, one of my favorite exercises, the front squat. I'm gonna hold the weight in front of you, 
Now remember on your squats, you're gonna go down, and when you come back up, you're gonna flex the quads and tighten your glutes. So let's go for 10. Ready, let's go. One, flex the quads. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, take a quick water break, grab some water. So remember, use a weight that's comfortable for you and that's gonna allow you to keep good form. I'll put the link in the description for you to grab the mat, the dumbbells, the bench, and I got the kettlebells. Quick workout from the comforts of your own home. You can do this. We're going to go through all the exercises again. Take breaks as you need to. And just remember, when you're working out, the main thing is not to compromise form. If the weight is too heavy and you're rocking and throwing your back in it, the weight is too heavy. You want to keep good form with all of the exercises. Let's go. Let's get started for round two. All right, going with the dumbbell curls again. Seven reps on each arm. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Squeeze at the top. Six and seven. Squeeze at the top. We'll go right into the behind the head shoulder presses. I keep saying shoulder press. Behind the head tricep presses. I did that in my last video. I was saying shoulder press, but this is behind the head tricep presses. Obviously, we're working the triceps. Let's go. Ten repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm gonna go right to the shoulder press. The shoulder press. Remember, arms parallel as if you're making level T. Keep good form and you're gonna press straight up for the ceiling. We're gonna go for 10. And one, two, nice and smooth. Three, keep good form. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Now we're gonna go right into the bent over dumbbell rows. Feet a little bit outside the shoulder width. Straight back, lean forward, knees slightly bend, elbows to the rear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, front squats. Ten repetitions, flex the quads on your way up. When you get back up, flex the quads, remember, and tighten your glutes. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Flex some quads, last one, and 10. These are powerful for making big muscular quads. 
That's it. Water break. We're about to wrap this up. Listen, this is something you could do three times a week, right from the comfort of your own home. You can make it a family affair, bring your spouse, bring your kids. You see, I'm in my front room and I'm just getting it done. You don't need a whole lot of space. Just come in and devote 20 minutes a few times a week. And that would do the body some good. So we're gonna wrap this up with, gotta work on the core. Say full body, so we can't leave out the abs. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me get these weights out of the way. I'm gonna go with the regular. I'm gonna do a quick ab section. We're gonna go regular crunches. Come straight up, 10 crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then we're gonna reach straight up for the ceiling. 10 repetitions. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're gonna go reverse crunches. Now bring your knees to your chest, plant your hand on the floor for your support. Legs out, knees to the chest, ten repetitions. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's your abs. But I just realized something. When I looked up at the bench, we didn't do nothing for the chest. So what we're gonna do real quick, I'm gonna grab those 35s. We're gonna do two sets of chest press. Now what I should have done was after we did the rolls, instead of drinking that water, I was supposed to do a set of chest press, then drink my water. So that's what I left out. Two sets of incline chest press. So we're gonna get those done real quick. I'm grab my 35s, sit down on the bench, leaning back, and we're gonna press, squeezing at the top, and make sure you're engaging those pictorial muscles. One, we're gonna do 10, two, Squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, that's one set. So we're gonna do one more set of chest press. So yes. I did them out of order, but the main thing is, at least I done it. So if you follow this video, you can do it out of order if you want to. Makes no difference. But what I like to do after I done the curls, behind the head tricep press, the bent over rows, I should have done that chest press, and then the squats. But we're not gonna worry about all that. We're just gonna stick with the same order that we're in right now. It's still effective you're still working your full body. So let's get into this last set of chest press, and that's gonna conclude the workout. A quick 20 minutes worth of work. I'm gonna grab a 50 pounders so I can challenge myself a little bit. And use whatever weight that you have. I like to order a few different poundage so I can go light, heavy as I need to. Right now, these 50s are the heaviest I have at the house. When I need to go heavier, I go to the gym. I might get some 60s, but these 50s are heavy enough to do what I need to do. Last set of chest press, and these incline 
I got the bench on the incline. These incline chest presses from work on your upper chest. It's going to make your chest look full. Give it that full look. Nothing like a full pumped chest. Let's knock out these last 10 and conclude our workout. Ready? Let's go. One, squeeze at the top. Two, engage that chest. Mind the muscle. Three, squeeze. Four, squeeze. Five, squeeze. Six, squeeze. Seven, squeeze. Eight, squeeze. Nine, last one. And squeeze at the top. Ten, beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, work. All right, folks, we're going to end this workout the same way we started, with a little stretching. Feet shoulder width apart, left arm across the body, stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch arms, and five, four, three, two, and one. Palms in the center of your lower back. Back stretch, lean back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Feet shoulder width apart. Reach down, hold your right ankle, or stretch down as low as you can, if you can't reach your ankle. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Stretch down in five, four, three, two, one. Fingertips to the floor, straight down the center. Uh, go as low as you can go if you can't touch the floor. And five, four, three, two, one. That's it, that concludes it. That's about 20, 20 minutes. So listen folks, thank you for tuning in. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with family and friends, share this video with anybody trying to get fit. Again, quick 20 minute workout. You could do it when you first work up, wake up in the morning, or you could do it when you get home from work. 20 minutes, you got that, you could do that. 20 minutes, three times a week, and you will be amazed at the results. Now what I'm about to do is, and what I suggest you do, if you have the time, after you do this quick 20 minute workout, Go hit some cardio. Whether you're walking around your neighborhood for 30 minutes, whether you're jogging for 30 minutes, riding a bike, or elliptical, either or. Give me 30 minutes of cardio after your workout three times a week. You will be amazed at the results you get. It doesn't take years to get fit. All it takes is consistency. Three times a week, if you can bump it up to five times a week, that's even better. But thank you for joining on this workout with me. Again, check my channel out. I have plenty of home workouts that's gonna work your abs, your arms, your legs. We got workouts for your full body. And before I go, I got to shout out Anchor in Christ Apparel. This is a veteran-owned brand. If you wanna show your support to a veteran who served for 24 years, go to anchoredinchristapparel.com. We have t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, all with inspirational messages. Be blessed and stay anchored. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share with family and friends. Thanks for watching.